Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Now let's go to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool abstract animation, in the first part of the video, I will explain you how to create the animation in Blender, in the bonus part of the video, I will explain how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects, let's go arties. First open Blender and remove the camera, cube in the light with the X key. Then creates a plane object. Scale the canvas on all to 2. Go to the modifier properties afterwards. First add subdivision surface. Then select simple and at level viewport select 5 and at renderer select 6. After that select a second subdivision surface. There you select Catmull Clark and at level viewport 5 and at renderer 6. The high subdivision number is important to get the texture later on. It can be that your computer will be quite slow because of it. You can set the level viewport number lower, I leave it high, so you can see the result better. Then select the displace modifier. Select 0.5 for strength and 0 for mid level. Now we go to the texture properties. There we can define the tarp with the help of a texture. At type you choose magic. At depth you choose 5 and at turbulence 12. Now we come to the animation. For this we first shorten the animation to 120 frames, that means 4 seconds. After that we set the animation to frame 0. To animate the canvas we use the turbulence value and set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Then we move the animation slider to the end of the animation. There we select the value 6 for turbulence and set a new keyframe. Every animation created in Blender is automatically created in a Bezier curve. That means the animation is slow at the beginning, fast in the middle and slow again at the end. But we want the animation to run in the same speed all the time. For this we go down here to the graph editor. There we select our curve, make sure that the start and end point is selected. Then we go to the menu item key, interpolation mode and select linear new item. Now we come to the material. First we change the viewport shading in the upper right corner, 4. Then we split the view into 2. Go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side, then you go to the shader editor. Create a new material, there you set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0, 1. Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic of mine. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can find the whole project files there, you can find the link in the caption. Now we go back to subdivide surface and increase the values until no more disturbances are to be seen. At the end select a camera. Press on the camera icon and choose a format of your choice at Output Properties. Then select a suitable section. That's it, the animation is ready to render, press Command plus F12. Now comes the bonus part of the video, where I explain how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects.
Double-click in the project window to insert the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. Drag and drop it to the layer window. Then search for the effect hue slash saturation. There you select the value of 40 under master saturation. Then duplicate the layer and search for the effect grayscale 4. Set the blending mode to overlay. Press the T key and set the opacity to 25%. With this effect we can increase the depth in the animation. Now we select the bottom layer again and search for the effect edge glow. Now I work with overlays. First I put in a star animation, it must cover the whole animation. Set the blending mode to add. Now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press command plus A in the plane window and then we click with the right mouse button and choose pre-compose. Then we press with the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. Now the composition runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready, well done Arties. Thanks for the positive feedback, when I have 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic. At the moment I don't earn any money with this yet, therefore I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.